five years ago, there was a really remarkable discovery in South Africa of a new species of early human called Australopithecus sediba. There was an adult female that was discovered at this cave site, and her skeleton is remarkably complete. It's just a magnificent skeleton. And what we're learning from this species, uh, among many other things, is that um, she walked in a very different way uh, than most humans do today. And in fact, she walked in a different way than other Australopithecus species in the past walked. And it tells us that there were many different forms of bipedalism that evolved over the course of human evolution. That this typical uh, progressional uh, uh, picture of human evolution of a chimpanzee-like animal evolving into a human-like animal in a linear fashion is simply wrong. That there were multiple ways of being an upright walker. And one of the ways that we know that is by studying humans today and the variation in which humans walk today. And one of the ways that some humans walk today is something called uh, hyperpronation, where we have excessive twisting in of our foot and, and therefore our knee and our hip. Uh, and it even goes into the lower back as we walk. And it causes some real problems in humans, foot problems and knee problems and hip problems and back problems. And one of the magnificent things about this skeleton, and we're still studying this, we're still trying to figure this out, but what it appears uh, to us is that this skeleton has anatomical solutions to the very problems that humans experience when they walk in this manner. And it suggests to us that this species was adapted for walking in this peculiar way. And it tells us that there are many different ways, again, to walk around uh, the world in the past.